magnet in the workplace. If you're able to exhibit a Christ-like character in the workplace and be even keeled with the peace and the love and the joy and the wisdom uh, of workplace decision-making and, and, and workplace you know, collaboration, you will you know, just, there's no way you can avoid uh, being a leader. Uh, people will flock to you. They will cling to you for leadership advice. So keep a clear conscience. Uh, if your mind is stayed on Him, uh, God will bless you. So we should be worry and anxiety free. Uh, and and I, I make the comment, you will find that you will become much more usable uh, when your conscience is clear uh, as a leader. Uh, God will just pick you up and raise you to all new heights. Uh, not because that is your you know, a, a self, you know, a selfish and, and, and I've used the word self-aggrandizing, you know, many times before, but really that's not the focus. Uh, when, when you, your mind is stayed on Christ, just by default, it's going to happen. God's going to take you to heights that you'll just never have, have realized. So be bold with a, a spiritual commitment. And we talked about earlier the noise of this world. You've got to avoid your, your mind of the clutter. And it helps. When, when you keep a clear conscience, it helps uh, take away much of the clutter of this world. And then as kings, we need to delegate. Luke 10, 1. After these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also and sent unto them two and two before his face into every city and place whether he himself would come. So yes, we learn to work through people, we delegate, uh, we, we expect uh, that people will, uh, the, the people that we're delegating to will also share and be passionate about the vision and the things that we're trying to accomplish. And so we, we delegate you know, through other people and it frees up valuable time, uh, allows you to better prioritize, it allows you to focus on our core competencies and core issues. But it also, at the same time, it allows others to grow. As you delegate and give them responsibility and hold them accountable for results, you will see that the people you are leading will grow. It builds trust. It builds faith. It builds relationships. Can you think of any other, and let's stop here if you would please, uh, facilitator, if you could uh, answer that question, can you name some other benefits of delegation? I know that we've, we've put uh, a bunch of those up there uh, to, to view. Are there anything else that you, you know, just because you, you're taking the time to delegate and, and, and let other people have responsibility, what other things are happening as a result, positive things that happens? Uh, just take a few minutes to, to think through that issue. Number 13, be unconventional at times. You know, I, I look at, uh, John was clothed with camel's hair and with a girdle of skin about his loins and he did out, eat locusts and wild honey. You know, no one's going to tell me that John was a, a, typical, a typical guy and uh, he, he was you know, different. He was uh, uh, certainly... Uh, you know, living in the in the Judea and out in the wilderness, and and, and I also, as a, as a matter of uh, point, I I wanted to uh, focus on that uh, book holder uh, up there in the corner. Now that's not your typical bookshelf, is it? But I thought, you know, this is a a real cool photo, uh, different kind of a bookshelf, unconventional bookshelf, but um, but it's interesting, and and so. As marketplace leaders, from time to time, you, you want to be unconventional. Um, you need to go against the, the tide. You know, sometimes public opinion will, will say X, but you know the Word of God says Y. Um, and so, you know, if the world is, is telling you to, uh, to go in a certain direction, uh, and the authority of the Scripture is telling you to, to go in another direction, uh, it's okay to be uh, nonconformist. And it's also okay to, to spice things up. I think we, you know, we talked about this a little earlier in one of the other modules. Uh, there's nothing wrong with keeping an element of mystery where 
you, know, you, you surprise your, your workmates or your teammates you know, in, a, in a fun and, and peculiar way. Uh, it's, it's nice to be able to do that. I also write being creatively edgy in a respectful kind of way. You know, let the creative juices and the creative side of your, the right brain just flow. Uh, you know, again, in a respectful kind of a way. So uh, that leads us to the conclusion of Module 7. Um, marketplace Christians are kings. Uh, they protect uh, the integrity and the wholeness of what it means to be a Christian lighthouse in the workplace. And so we saw first uh, that kings provide, and then now secondly here in this uh, seventh module, we find that, uh, that we, as kings, as Christian kings, we have the duty to protect the integrity uh, out in the workplace. We need to be dynamic thinkers concerned with the long-term sustainability and growth. Marketplace leaders provide oversight in a spirit of love, um, and that will conclude uh, the final uh, installment, the final module, session number seven. Uh, what a blessing it has been. I, I, I hope uh, that the series has challenged your thinking, uh, Christian Leadership Worldview International, as we travel the globe and we bring this message uh, of hope and encouragement in the workplace. I hope that you've taken something away. Our Lord and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, of his 132 public appearances uh, out um, you know, as he roamed this earth uh, for those three, three years, three and a half years, uh, it was said that 122 of those 132 were out in the marketplace. So I say to, to myself and I say to all of us, if we're spending you know, 8, 10, 12 hours a day in the workplace and our Savior thought it important to be out in the marketplace an extensive period of time, how important should that be to us as we go to work every day? How, sh how important should be living our Christian lives in accordance with God's word be to us every single day? And that's the challenge. Please take the time on your ride into work. Take the time from the time you leave your car to the time you sit in your chair uh, or even in the morning as you study your Bible. Prepare yourself for the work day. You'll spend more time in the workplace probably than any other in your lifetime. And God expects that we collectively are going to do great things for the glory of God in the workplace. Yes, marketplace Christianity is something that the Christian Leadership Worldview International Ministry is passionate about. And we pray that others uh, would be as passionate uh, as they go through the seven modules and, and we use the Word of God to discuss uh, our responsibilities. Thank you. Please check us out at uh, clwi.org uh, as there's a uh, resource session, uh, section that is very robust uh, with a lot of good leadership training and development all from a Bible perspective and that's the most important thing. Thank you and God bless.